And we're live. Stonks cast. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome He's to live. welcome to episode thirteen of Stonks cast. <laughs> welcome. It is the end of June. I am Ollie, yeah. and this is James. I remain James. Sometimes still, my will. He's still uh, James. Um, and yeah, we're having a look at What's the. What's going on? Uh, it's another week. Yeah, we're having a look at the week's news, uh, VSTs, free things, stuff. We got releases on the way. We're busy as we ever. Um, all the usual stuff. We have news, I assume, from Ollie and VSTs from me, and it's uh, it's going to be a fantastic episode where we talk about the things that I have just said. So fantastic. Uh, do you want to do the usual thing and go first, or shall I? I, 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 I yeah, yeah, I'll go first. Like, let's have I mean, a... you just shouted a word. I don't know what to do from this point onwards. <laughs> I'm just, let me just pull the chat do you, up. Do you want to go first? Yeah, let me... I think I actually managed to enable the screen sharing. Um, so, yeah, Stogscast episode yeah. 13. We have uh, we have some news. We have further releases. We're sorting a lot of, uh, lot of boring stuff out at the moment, which is driving Ollie up the wall. And uh, and we're going to talk to you about that as well. And Ollie's probably got some things he wants to shout about as well after the news. So we'll do that. Um, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah let's... Exactly. They'll be shouting. <laughs> and, uh... Let's start off with this week. Um, the beginning of this week, we had our release with Pete. Roll this on. Yeah, we had our um, Pete we Plays did. Music. Uh, we screlexified Psychosocial yes. for him. Um, I suppose I'll bring that up in a... Yeah. And in the a tab. feedback's been uh, altogether, altogether good. And we can play this without worrying about copyright strike. I don't know, can we? Because uh, we're in it. Oh, dude, I don't know. Maybe he'll sue us. So, um, <laughs> someone's got to sue. Someone's got to sue. My internet's pretty shit. Like the last someone's got to be making extortionate amounts of money out of every movement. Boom, look, he's doing well good with this video. 76k in five days. Yeah. There you go. Well done, Pete. Boom, Pete Cottrell is a uh, is an excellent YouTuber that uh, reached out and asked to work with us. Uh, just to recap, you if you're somehow joining this on the third episode, I think you might be the fifth person watching it. Well Th done. Third Welcome episode. Thirteenth episode. Yeah, we're we're about here. Thirteen. Like Thirteen. Four fifty in somewhere. Please excuse me while I forget ten episodes worth of content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had great fun making that, uh, and I love his little bobbin heads. It makes me laugh so much. <laughs> um, yeah, could you do me? Could you do me a personal favour? I don't know if you'll be able to find it quick enough to uh, not sacrifice the flow of the video. But could you find the Jimmy Page bit and show me his hairs? I don't know if he always does it. <laughs> Not, not to instantly, not to instantly, um, instantly take away from it, but it is, it is hilarious. The Jimmy, is it, it is Jimmy Page. Yeah, there he is. Wait, no, you've got back, back, young one, back. Yes. That's the lead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> My dad will kill me if that's not Jimmy Page. Look at that. Yeah, man. Pete's sick, though. Pete's a, Pete's a great guitarist. Yeah, right. Thanks. Um, I appreciate that on a personal level. So He's I, a fantastic I, musician, and uh, thank you very much again for reaching out, Pete. Yeah, it was great. It's good fun to uh, to work with him. Check out the video. We'll have it in our description. But um, he's done a bunch of these 20, yeah, 20 styles. Yeah, got an explain video. And, uh, yeah, if you blah, 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 go past all of his stuff, Stonks Music. Blah, blah, thanks to Stonks Music. So with a link over to our channel. Woo! Out. Where we've got we a little, uh, voice, which is why we now need to do all these boring things. Um, yeah, and then we've got our video here with my amazingly hilarious artwork of. We'll put the link. Uh, we'll put the uh, we'll put the link for that in the um, in the description as well. Yeah, so check the links and See how we worked it out, or how you worked it out. I did bugger all. I was busy doing other shit. Yeah, That's fine. why you need two people. Yeah, man. So that was our main thing this week, like getting that out and starting our YouTube only content like youtube specific content so we've uh we've kind of split a course yeah. between the two of us now haven't we um, so we uh, james you're taking yeah, or we've got like a course each really, yeah. or something yeah you're kind of doing abcs and i'm doing deep dives into uh 
like 20 levels. Yeah. I don't know if I can do 20. Oh, doing all the complicated stuff. Um, I, I said 20 levels there. It might more like be 10, yeah. 10 levels, but 10 levels of complexity with each uh, uh, plug-in VST. So like reverb, you can either just put it on or you can do how more to things. Open Ableton. Man, the simple stuff, like, yeah. you don't think about it, but when you're working on a track and you go Control-Alt-T and then you, you know, X to hot swap some audio and, like, you're doing so many things that yeah. you just don't... You're you, speeding up your workflow. That, that, that when you so think about the simple, the basic stuff... Okay. Yeah, so the simple stuff is, is so important. So, uh, yeah, we're trying to cover all grounds between the two of us. Yeah. So head over to yeah, our, yeah, cover uh, all our YouTube. kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, so head over to our YouTube if you want to uh, stay up to date with some of that content, which will be incoming over the uh, over the coming weeks. We're going to do one uh, video a week at the moment, so we'll alternate that between one of mine, one of yours. But we might up the content to do one of each of ours a week. We'll just see how busy we get, really. I don't know. Um, so then let's go to our front page, the, the new, new news. And we've only got a few days away from this now, like what, five days until your new release. Lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Lockdown EP. First Which thing is... I've released that I'm magically happy with. Yeah, it's a, it's a three track. <laughs> um, no crying. I don't know what to call it. What would you say? Tril ch chill hop, down tempo electronica? Yeah, I mean, it, it's spacey, uh, spacey kind of pushes towards trip hop. The first track's got a little like drill influence. The second track has a bizarre instrument that I created called the Flusoon Roo, and that's the only place you'll know how to pronounce it as well. It's the Flusoon Roo, everyone. You've got to, you've got to get down on that. The Flusoon, Flusoon Roo. Roo. I might release a... I, might, I, I feel like you instantly mucked it up, but it might have been the uh, the crackle. So uh, it's the Flusoon Roo. You've got to go you, all, on the, all on the front of the word. The Flusoon Roo. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's uh, a combination of a bassoon, a didgeridoo, and a flute, uh, like a Ugandan flute. I uh, oh, those packs you were using, yeah, uh, that I mixed together. Yeah, so one of them's the free pack that I use, the Santuri Safari pack, which is by. Just give me one second because I don't want to not credit the dude. Uh, that's Santuri's right. Mor morphs, Safari. morphs in the chat. He says, "Hey, but it's really laggy today." Hey, dude. Yeah, I was wondering if um, your voice was slightly lagging behind mine. Oh, or, oh not that, oh. that, but we were getting a delay between the audio. Maybe. Because my uh, uh, internet yeah, phone's sure. pretty hot. I've got some sort of lag issue. I don't know how best to uh, for us to um, address that. Ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> what temperature-wise? <laughs> Uh, anyway, so we'll we'll just uh, we'll continue on. If it, yeah, Aaron, if it becomes unbearable, let us know, and we'll try and restart and relaunch or something. Um, it's probably just my why internet. Why can't I find this? Uh... Yeah, it may well be. Um, but anyway, so uh, the second track, first track is called Sin Mechanic, and uh, it is a drill styley kind of chill hop tune. Uh, with some <laughs> drill hop, police I like this so, drill hop. Yeah, it's, it's some sort of drill hoppy kind of because it's not proper drill, but it's got like a little tick. Ah, uh, there's you'll see what I mean. Um, and it's got loads of lovely glitch samples that I was modulating from the glitch machine sample packs that I got Ooh, yeah. for free. I think you get those ones for free, so check them out. Uh, I've got the link to that in one of the previous episodes. Glitch machines free bundle has been a wonder. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah, you get the two uh, plugins and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you get shit tons of sound full tanks and stuff. Um, anyway, to hop back to what I was saying, so Sin Mechanic is sort of drill hop with loads of glitchy stuff on it. Thank you, Glitch Machines. Uh, the Flusoon Roo is uh, part of the instrument, and throughout uh, the EP, actually, I used these Ugandan free instruments that I downloaded. Uh, it's by a guy called Amit. Oh, sorry if I butcher this uh, pronunciation, but I've got it as... Uh, Emil Hugenhut, <laughs> which I really like, and I hope his name is Hugenhut is like a really nice like way to say a name. It won't be like that, and he's probably cursing me right now, but oh well. Um, he's got quite a few cool things on his website, uh, so go to uh, emilhugenhut.com forward slash shoot. Uh, obviously, that's shop. That's shoot. a terrible joke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I've used these Ugandan instruments. There's like a 
there's I oh, don't give me more than I deserve. Um, there's, <laughs> there's, uh, yeah, there's Ugandan instruments throughout this EP. Uh, so there's like a harp. Uh, strings that I've mixed with the heart and then for the Flusun Ru I've used this Ugandan quite throaty style flute and I've mixed that with a didgeridoo and a bassoon to make the main bass sound that goes with like the wave style re bass and so that's nice. made a really interesting sound and it's a really <coughs> not heavy sound but I've written it in a really heavy way so like it's it sounds kind of fun um, so that's the Flusun Ru uh, the second track and Headspace is just a straight like heart back to the luck fact that I like to make elevator music so it's just a really chill slightly jazzy bluesy influenced uh, trip hop song with like a heartbeat kick so the three tracks again are number one uh, Sin Mechanic number two is the Flusun Ru and uh, number three is Headspace and the EP is called Lockdown and it comes out on the third of the next month if we make it into it July yeah. um, so that will be available on all of the streaming platforms the high fire ones, the low fire ones the middle fire ones how long uh, How long it will be like, on we should do that, we should just be like how long will it be on SoundCloud? We just don't know. <laughs> It'll be on SoundCloud for as long as I can fence Little Ollie bit. off the fucking subject. Ollie wants to boot us off SoundCloud. I don't think we've got the reach to the pool yet. So basically, I'm I'm plumbing the social media at the moment, trying to get us enough fans so I, he can have his way and I can go back to a peaceful <laughs> existence. Um, but until that point, uh, I'll continue to spend 80% more emotional energy on this project than I do on my relationship. And uh, that's not because of demand. Whoopsie! It's just, uh, it just is. <laughs> uh, anyway yeah that's uh, so that's thanks emil hoogan hoot for the uh for the instruments for that and thanks glitch machines as well it's a big shout out for those guys they're giving out some really cool free stuff yeah man um i'll drop emil hoogan hoot he's got a shop as well i've got to stop saying his name um, <laughs> the hoogan hoot the hoogan hoot, hoogan hoot oh now i'm in trouble now you're in I, trouble I'm just oh, oh. Uh, he's great. His website looks bloody brilliant as well. We should have get it up. Yeah, get it up on your get it up on your tabs. So we'll have a look at it with your VSTs. Yeah, I'll get it up when I go through. But we should we should we should get some uh, some some Hoogan Hoot uh, Zen in our website. I think because he's got he's got it on lock. It looks very nice. It's he's got the Hoogan. That's Hoogan. It's got it's got the Hoogan that you need to hoot. So <laughs> I just told the fucking thing can't be about his name. Yep, um, this episode's so, going to yeah, be called Hoogan Hoot now. <laughs> Hoogan Hoot, my Hoogan Hoot. Oh. And Hoogan it well. Um, so yeah, uh, Ashima, <coughs> July 3rd, uh, lockdown. Won't be called an EP because I only made it three tracks. Ollie's dying of some sort of plague in the background. Don't uh, worry it's probably laggy as shit anyway. But yes, if, if you can hear this where you are, July 3rd. Uh, lockdown Ashima. I don't want to go on about it anymore. Carry on with what you're saying. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much our news this week. We've uh, been working on that, got that one coming out, and we did the uh, thing with Pete. That's been our week, pretty much. Um, yes. Oh, I I, I suppose also this week I ordered a new keyboard, which hasn't come, and I'm looking to buy a new, a new chair. Studio upgrades. This is true. Um, so, yeah, let's check out some of the news. Which is still boring as usual, oh. um, business stuff. Uh, should music's biggest companies boycott Facebook? So this straight away starts ringing yeah. uh, memories of what was termed it was termed uh, 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 the adpocalypse on YouTube, and uh, mm. Poodie Pie was blamed for this. Um, in part, it, I think it was partly to do with him, but a lot to do with other channels like um, ISIS and a lot of these other extremists. Uh, there was basically like you know fucking Adidas adverts running on on ISIS videos that were yeah, you know, and then there was also uh, you know because PewDiePie always gets in trouble trouble for something. He's the biggest YouTuber, so there's always people trying to blame it on him. But he he was uh, he said something uh, on a stream and he got in loads of trouble. And then they were like advertisers are saying they're going to pull ads because it's not friendly for child so now youtube's got a massive thing with all of our youtube videos we have to tick not made for for kids so there's a whole new thing about how you can't advertise yeah. for kids um when we're doing facebook ads we have to tick that same thing that your demographic is 16 plus you can't you have mm -hmm. to apply for special rights to be able to advertise the children which is all good you know that's that's i definitely feel like when we were kids shit was advertised directly to us like so why when i why when i clicked why when i did a boosted post and they followed a bunch of people did i ended up getting loads of like oh they must all be over 18 they just look like them. 
They're 12. Or they lie. Or they lie. The problem. This is the problem. Like, there's loads of people just... Well, you shouldn't be on... Yeah, fa- you need to be yeah, over yeah. 13 to be on Facebook, but it doesn't stop you from changing a number on a scroll box. Yeah, I suppose. You know? Yeah, my little cousin, I think, has had it before he was... Yeah. So, you know, that's this, the problem. You can only do... You can only do so much. So as a company, yeah. if they're Look selling... your children. You know, the thing is, the companies are selling their space as advertising. And... um. Yeah, you. It's hard to know who's using it. So if we actually look at the companies that are boycotting, uh, high-profile brands are pulling ads for the platform and boycotting future advertising activity on Facebook and or Facebook-owned sites such as Instagram. And those brands include clothing companies such as Eddie That's Bauer, thought, yeah. Patag- Patagonia, North Face, in, uh, in addition to movie distributor, yeah, Magnolia Pictures, ice cream maker Ben & Jerry, uh Magnolia Pictures says it's seeking meaningful change at Facebook and at the end to their amplification of hate speech, while Ben and Jerry has called on Mark Zuckerberg to take stronger action to stop its platforms from being used, to divide our nation, spread voters. Has Mark Zuckerberg called on everyone to just allow him to do this? (laughs) Well, it's it's one of these it's one of these biggest problems. I fucking hate Facebook anyway. It's just a data collecting fucking succubus but it's used by (laughs) it's used by a lot of fucking people and it is a platform it is the new soapbox right it's what people use to shout into their with your soul no but it is it's the with the dumbest thing it's the soapbox into an echo chamber but everyone loves to shout in it anyway um uh, (laughs) all i see from this is if all the advertisers are pulling then our little five pound ads every month might actually have a bit of leeway fucking I don't know. All of these, all of these companies play dirty, on the hour. right? All of these companies play dirty. Ben and yeah. Jerry, you know, Ben and Jerry's, and all these other companies. The game is dirty. You know, they're all they're doing. They're doing this for their own to look good. Like I don't, you know, I don't have to pretend. Your ice cream is made of blood. Yeah, cause they're still fucking exploiting someone for cocoa beans. You're not telling me that it's all yeah, fair. They're all and, at you know. it. Chick Fil A so, are like fucking nearly. Oh, mate. So if they're all pulling ads, then we're going to carry on doing our ads because it means our little five pound might be seen by someone. Yeah, and that's we'll... the problem. You've got to make sorry, sorry, everyone. You've got to make equality and justice profitable, or the world won't catch up. Well, it's there's equity and equality. Equality would be if all of us mm. boycott it. Equity is letting the big dogs boycott it, and the little dogs can have a piece of the pie for once. I don't know. Uh, let's no. let's not get into it yeah. too much. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's what that's what people are doing. We're we're boycotting adverts again. Like woo. We'll see where that goes. Um, completely <laughs> the contrary to that. Second um, uh, article: Instagram shopping access expanded to musicians selling merch. <laughs> so fantastic. Uh, the uh, the the also Zuckerberg owned company um, is extending their uh, <laughs> their advertising Welcome and shopping, <laughs> so that now we can we can apply because we sell. Uh, we have an e-commerce. We can apply for uh, advertising hashtags, which can uh, merch. Once, yeah, once business have anyway. applied to use Instagram shopping, they'll be notified as soon as they're approved and ready to start tagging products. So on one hand, they're like external advertisers are leaving Facebook, and Facebook's like doesn't matter. We're an advertising platform. We'll just advertise ourselves and sell more shit and yeah, take more well, of your yeah, money. Exactly. Yeah, we don't care. Uh, that we have the platform we are one we are legion exactly <laughs> so it says here that uh instagram We're insists towards a conglomerate <clears throat> nightmare totally man um instagram insists that if a business is not approved it'll offer a clear reason why the decision was made so that creators can wither take the necessary action or appeal so uh it seems like they're pretty on getting people on it if that makes sense they're uh yeah uh, they want as many people as they can to use it. So, well, it's just something. duck and roll tactics, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's so we'll have a look. Tactics. A business will just continually duck and roll. Duck and roll, man. Um, so the other one that we just can't stop talking about every week is Spotify. Um, they've had a right old stonks in the last few months, haven't they? Up and down like a yo-yo, but <laughs> but gem- yeah. generally going I'm up. To tell people what a stonk is. Stonks. At stocks, their their stocks and shares, uh, they've been yeah, they've been making some good money because of their talk about podcasts. So they've got the deal with DC Comics that they've signed. They've got their deal with um, Joe Rogan that they've signed. So 
they're putting a lot of money into their into their podcasts and it's showing so their their market cap their worth has doubled in three months so they are now worth 50 billion or heading towards so their company where is my slice their company was worth 25 billion at the beginning of the year or like in march now they're worth 50 billion so I think in part, a lot of that's going to be no, the pe- I mean. more people at home, more people listening, more people streaming. Uh, there's definitely been more yep. more streamers on Twitch and stuff like that since lockdown. So it's inevitable that some of these companies are going to make money. And it looks like Spotify have been putting all their uh, cards in the right place and, you know, laying, laying everything. They've been battling lawsuits and doing all this stuff and still expanding their company. So, um, yeah, they're... they're, they're upward trend looking good look they they got this is what i mean so music is like music isn't ever going to die the live music scene i think will come back in some form or i just don't yeah, definitely i think i have more optimism than i'm used to having for like the future of music at the moment and actually weirdly the other day the future of society but i was really it was quite early in the morning um i think the one thing that that i've been saying this year you're going to see the biggest revival in illegal raves since the 90s um oh yeah that's it i mean well, I, that's what happened i i'm not going to name any names but i know and people then... that are sorting out parties right now you know I, i've i've oh, seen gotcha. i've seen the numbers yeah, no, i've, I've seen the yeah i've seen the i've seen the numbers call this number this weekend you know um yeah. It's happening. It's happening already. So oh, I remember back in the day, no Google Maps. No, I was just on the crest of before, like all GPS on phones was like like normal, and you just a map on the fucking bonnet. Oh, well, you remember? Knows yeah. who they are. <laughs> Do you remember anyway. getting getting on a bus and some geezer would just come up to you with like a flyer he just scribbled <laughs> on, and the flyer has a number yeah, that you have to call, but you can't right. call you can't call the number for like yeah, another three yeah. days. So, like call the number. I don't in... want to relieve too much. I don't want to reveal too much. I love it. Call the number in three days' time, <laughs> and then you call that, and then they do this, and then they tell I don't you where to go. Reveal too much. It's a, it's. A... Then the party's actually been cancelled by the yeah, police yeah. already, and then there's someone else telling you to ring someone else when you get there. It's like there's never actually a party in the first place. It's just a massive treasure hunt. S- <laughs> some un- uh. yeah, you got some unpleasant Welsh bloke dealing you an asp to the thigh. That was nice. Thanks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, but you know that's that's that was gonna a creeper. That's you didn't gonna hurt happen so much when he hit me. Oh mate. <laughs> that's gonna happen more now. You know, there's gonna be a lot of these uh, unsanctioned events happening in around the place because people yeah. like live music. I met up with my mate the other day. We listened to a bunch of our new mixes with his massive sub, and it's bass therapy, man. It does it moves your in insides and it makes you feel good. So people want that feeling. Mm. People are going to go get it. So yeah, I have. Optimism. I reckon it makes you feel it makes you feel like you're back in the womb. Those bass frequencies rattling your insides. It's a womb thing. Um, so another Spotify yeah, it's one. A, no, it's like an, an amniotic vibration. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah cuddling um so another another spotify spotify (laughs) Spotify doing big things um watch out youtube music videos could be coming to spotify so they were saying that the podcast might also be video podcasts so along with that could be music videos so it's i saw something i saw something that i wanted to ask you about which was how do we get our music videos playing behind in the background when we press play on spotify so everyone's got that they've got their like videos like you pick their track on Spotify and you press play and it's got like their video so we could have our animations back there somewhere I think okay I have no idea but we'll look into it big brain big brain big brain we'll have to look into it um, it can't I didn't be... expect to know. I didn't expect you to just know uh, it, it can't be that hard <laughs> yeah um, but they're, Google it for us they're working on adding music to the app so according to reverse engineer Jane Manchin Wong, who discovered an unreleased video tab on Spotify's now playing screen on Saturday, June 20th. The engineer tweeted a Do screenshot and wrote, it's Spotify's finally take. working on a tab to do, 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 do. Right. Do you think that because live music will at least be in flux for a while, it will rebirth the art of the music video, truly? And it will because because the, the what people are giving out now will have to be a more immersive experience. Um, yeah, you see. Do you think you see the um... you've frozen on my screen, looking really interested. 
Um, you, you, we've seen the last few weeks the uh, Sony and Warner putting money into video game design and Unreal Engine and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, mm-hmm. I think we're going to see some big uh, changes in the Music's delivery. Music's going to be augmented. Yeah, the delivery of music. I think, yeah, we're going to see a lot of this mm-hmm. AR experience at gigs if we have gigs in that way or... Uh, these pay-per-view things. I really don't know. But yeah, there's definitely something big going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be... A, well, the, we're, we're at the start of essentially a renaissance, I think. Um, and there's going to be a big, big, big shake-up about how we do everything. So it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be a surprise if that permeates down to the way we're sort of intaking art as a medium as well. Yeah, oh, that um, almost made sense, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it's on both sides as well. So my last tab here is actually quite interesting because it's exactly the situation that we find ourselves in right now. Um, and it's the other yeah. it's the other side of it, you know. Yes, the way that we take is this music in. Why you in, get angry every time I start a business? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the way that we take music in is changing, but also the way that we're giving music out is changing. You know, in the old days, you yeah. couldn't do this all remotely um we master all of our own tracks and we bounce them between each other and we we have friends like rich who we talk about luffs and we get references but stuff like that like mastering was a dark art that had to go to a multi-million pound mastering suite in order to get your music to sound like anyone else's and that that's not there anymore so this article is really interesting one how this generation of artists are savvy about their own potential rights and commercial worth for the first time ever, we know yeah. we know what we're worth. We know <laughs> we have merch. We have a Discord where you can talk it's to funny, us. Isn't it? We have um, tutorial videos. We have the podcast where we can talk about news. We kn- before I used to be in a band where we spent most of our time writing music behind the scenes. We spent eight years on music and then like six months touring, and it's like now that mm. eight that eight years would have been spent nowadays doing youtube tutorials talking to people online showing yeah, people behind the promoting scenes yourself like realizing the, well we're always talking about it as a joke but like everything you do it's like content you know yeah you're you're doing the uh yeah the push-ups at the moment for um what's it for oh god yeah i've had to take a break because i've mucked up my stomach so i'm doing the uh i'm doing i'll be posting these through the uh the stonked music page to give you all a laugh as well um so i've been doing that silly uh well, it's not silly it's for a great cause uh 25 push-ups for 25 days for ptsd and i have i've had to not do it last night or today because i accidentally something went in the bottom of my stomach and it's getting better but like, i can't uh, if i push it i'm just gonna end up having to go to the doctors um so oh yeah i've been doing the 25 push-ups every day and i'll be sharing that all through the stonks channel because it's quite good like contiguous content and stuff like that we're really i'm really going to be pushing for the numbers on the socials now because we've let the socials just sort of incubate <clears throat> and like we posted but we i haven't really tactically trying to be doing anything with it so now i'm going to start researching properly into like how to like manipulate the system to your own ends and all that jazz. yeah well there's a couple of people uh, that so we've watched why, yeah, that, but that's that's an example of what we're saying um, yeah. is i'm now having to learn to do that much more than i'm having to learn how to pack all my shit into a lorry and and you know get it mobile and stuff mm-hmm. it's, it's that's not the prominence anymore and i don't think it was before the coronavirus actually i think your online presence was more important yeah than over the over the years time. yeah over the years that's been growing um the band that i was referencing was like 10 years ago that we were doing that um but i think nowadays if you're running a band if you're yeah. if you're doing a... It was a great band yeah it was good fun <laughs> but um uh, we didn't run things uh, as a, as as a business should it was still i feel like it was as the changeover out. yeah it was the changeover between the way things were the way things are now and the way things are going um we did have our own record label set up back then but it was much harder than what we do now and much more expensive than what we do now mm. so um i definitely think yeah. that this well, this so generation many different microservices now yeah we used cd baby that was all there was back then and you literally had to apply for your ISRC code and then burn that back onto the CD that you then sent off to the other place to, to actually print your CDs. It's like, now we just fucking upload it and it's all done. <laughs> so yeah, this generation of artists, we're not just musicians anymore. None of like none of us are. There's very few musicians have the 
ability or team behind them that allow them to solely make music. They're always thinking about <clears throat> whether it's just thinking about album artwork, videos, interactions with fans, other ways that they can tide between releases, um, collaborations with other artists or collaborations with musicians or a dance troupe that you find that you like and you could write them a song. There's like no musician is just has the luxury of sitting there in a big multi-million pound studio and making songs every day that's just not no. the way anymore even the big big guys they're still no. doing a million things there's no there's no golden kind of yeah man and i think that's good i think that's the way it <laughs> i'm making be. vocal booths out of bits of old mattress <laughs> yeah whatever works it's, it's, just... it's, all, it's all bodge overhead you just you get... want to look at that thing to the no you don't want to look at that thing next to that that's mm -hmm. fine um, you just want to get you just want to get shit done, right? That's the thing. Um, so this article is just talking about the yeah. uh, the last eighteen months. Uh, what are the what three global hits best define the transformation of the record business? So you got Little Nas, Old Town Road, which like blew up mm. insanely, right? Uh, such a head of steam independently on streaming service. Columbia I Records have no conferences. idea what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna. Fun like I can no more. You know, you're hitting that one. Oh, it's like massive last year. I got Maybe. horses. In yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, look, I, I sung it so well that we're going to get copyright claimed. No. Um, maybe, was, I just, maybe, maybe I thought it was a George, Ed, George Ezra tune or something. <laughs> um, so, look, Columbia Records couldn't resist waving a multi million dollar check to sign the artist after that, that tune, which was an independent Fair. release. Well done. Um, Little Nas X. Columbia Megachecks Roxanne by Arizona Zervas. I don't, I've not, I don't know. I didn't hear this one. Uh, over a million streams in a day in the US before the Sony label swooped for its second second viral hit single of 2019. So there's just, you know, the industry, the big dogs don't have a clue anymore, and they're just waiting for us little ones to pop so they can swoop down and, and inject a load yeah. of money and t and, and it's suck it dry. Up. Yeah, yeah. Like, make them it, terrible people it used to be that you could write a song go to the uh, you literally write a song not even an album you, it used to be that you'd write a song turn up and they'd be like I quite like him and then they'd find out some clothes that you could wear they'll get you yeah. a photo shoot they'll pay for your album they'll get musicians in now you have to turn up they'll make with your a, music yeah now you have to turn up with a minimum of half a million folly, following a back catalogue of music like five years of books just for them to even want to release your work or, yeah. or or you've done all the work yourself to the fact that you've got a like a multi-million dollar worthy single out that some record label just has to come in and be like there's all of your money like it's yeah. not they they it's don't mental. help they're just waiting it's, they're just waiting on the sidelines the as well yeah they're just waiting on the sidelines now the, the big dogs have been pushed out of the game got to make enough noise like we well, you know you remember um boy zone and spice girls and everything that was yeah. when the industry was milking it for what it's worth they were putting all these bands together and and milking little kids in the industry and taking the piss and oh, now don't say that <laughs> that's what it was don't say that. yeah no it's horrible for <laughs> it is though like fuck it is and now oh. now it's getting more and more independent where there's actually a lot more of the big musicians out there actually like music and they're actually in it because they they do what they want you know they like to make music yeah. and they're doing their thing um and they're pulling their weight you know they're running yeah, their own merch. They're running their own merch. They're running their own socials. They're doing mm -hmm. all these other things. Like some us, of the attention so... we've attracted is purely just people say we can see where well, you can see you're pulling your weight. You're doing stuff, and That's other it. people aren't. That's literally it. So, yeah, it's an interesting little article. It goes into a lot more detail of all the different things that you can do as an artist. But um, yeah, mm. that's pretty much me this week. I'm ready to hear mm. hold my heart over to you, my friend. <laughs> cool. Right. Let me just uh, grab the old screeny o share do, 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 do. do I have to stop it? Can you Over take it? to the free VSTs. No, you don't have to. I don't think. I was just being really, really slow. Uh, right. Uh, there we go. 
Hello, hello, welcome to the website I'm always on. Uh, no, I was thinking, and I always find this interesting, I've said it before, uh, I quite like a free DAW. And um, what I was thinking was I see on the Ableton user groups all the time that the main, the, the main complaint against Ableton is its lack of vocal comping. So it's lack of your ability to just take a take a take a take a take a take and then look at all. There are ways you can do it. Uh, but they're clunky, and there's some Max for Live plugins as well. I think that it can do it, and it's 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 not it's not the hardest thing to work around in the world. So I don't know why it's everyone's massive massive butt ache. Um, but it's just uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be something that a lot of people seem to want when they're recording vocals. So I was having a look uh, through the uh, the old bedroom producer blog. Thanks again to that nameless man. Who I will find out the name of and credit him at one point. Yeah. Um, I was having a look at through some of the uh, the free DAWs because he's actually got a free door section, which a lot of websites don't have. Um, so a lot of them are just based around plugins and sample banks and stuff like that. Uh, but this is actually uh, this is about free digital audio wave stations. And I was thinking about looking through one of these to find out perhaps if there was one that did vocal comping so I could offer you a different solution. So the next time that you want to go in the Ableton group, it'd be like, there is no vocal comping. My life is a husk, a waste in the land of pain. Um, then uh, I could direct you to my asshole. Uh, no, to, um, <laughs> to uh, maybe download one of these and you can get your vocal comping because it takes you 9,000 takes to go, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry i just I, I don't really have a negative view on this i just it's not that difficult to work around so i just don't know why i'm having to do this but it's a service to the people so whatever so the best one i found uh there were two that came out really good uh so this one is a uh, waveform free and uh it's got a bit of a weird workflow so i kind of sort of got rid of it and was just like nah it's, it's a strange way to do it and i wanted something that most people that are just using linear sequences can just download swap over to um so there's nothing wrong with workflow uh with with, with, with waveform free uh but it's just it's got a strange layout it doesn't look like anything would be where you expect it to be um so it's, it, it's what this guy said is a powerful program uh but the uh the workflow the unconventional workflow does hold you back slightly however if you're looking for a freshen up uh, i think this one i'll confirm but i think this one does focal comping um i'll have to double check but anyway this is all the build up to what I found, which was kind of interesting, which is Sonar or uh, Cakewalk, who did, and I always kind of said Sonar is like the lost door. It's like, it just sort of, I just didn't hear about it for ages, but they're out there, they're doing stuff, they're still killing it. It was the first DAW I used at college. I don't know if it would have been easy you as well, because we started on Tim's class. Mm. So yeah, we, it was the first DAW that Ollie and I actually really learned our craft on for like a good couple of months. I used something uh, before was, college. So... I used something else that was that I recorded a few guitar things on. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Some other really shit free thing that I used before. You're sure, it wasn't so... just like Audacity or something. It wasn't Audacity. Uh... It was something else that was like it wasn't quite a door, but it had more than one channel that was like. Mm. You could do something with I'm trying to remember. some sort of like virtual eight track or something. In my head, it was black and green. And that really didn't help. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, but then Sonar was the it, first. Sonar we'll was the first, and then then onto Cubase, and then onto Reason, and then onto Logic. We used yeah, I as did well. And... Sonar, Logic, yeah, Logic in the Mac Lab. And, so and we were Pro Logic Tools and, and Sonar at, at college when we started this. Really, um, way way back in the early 2000s. Uh, so it's. Uh, I was scrolling through, and turns out that Cakewalk uh, have. Do, 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 do. I do hold music when I'm scrolling now. Um, so uh, they have a band lab by Cakewalk, and it is essentially uh, Sonar Platinum for free. So it's their top, like best door, uh, and it seems like all you don't get is all the bundled third party software that comes with stuff you know when like com companies are contributed to the creation of like mm. this 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 and this so if you've got a good vst base i don't like and you've got i mean i've got i've got a decent foundation of i've got all my bases covered with my plugins basically i use a I lot of ableton stock in... though yeah. i use a lot of ableton stock yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyway so the, yeah but this I'm not asking anyone to sort of make this their main door. It would be no, but I mean, if you could, really, this is just a download. If you could, yeah. that would be good. 
Um, however, you would be able to, you would, it wouldn't be not within your power to create a full track just from the third party software that you have. Mm hmm. <clears throat> If if you were if you needed to, so yep. this is essentially Sonar Platinum. It's it's free. You've got to sign up for a free account with Band Lab Assistant, and you have to install the software. So that's apparently the only con, but it really doesn't make it sound like too much of a ball ball leg. And um, yeah, this nice. gives you like Sonar Platinum with all its recording functions and everything. Uh, it's just called Band Lab, and it's it's bollock free. So I've also got, if I just uh, scroll over to here. To the here. Um, so this guy, uh, who looks like he's loving it. Loving uh, it, I'm not mate. Play him, not because I don't, <laughs> not because I don't want to get copyrighted. It's just his voice is really joyous and I'm just not in the mood. It's not even just like a slide <laughs> on him. It's just like I can't deal with it. Um, so yeah, he explains how to do vocal comping in BandLab. BandLab is free. You already have Ableton, you have a computer, you have the internet. So you can now vocal comp, not in Ableton, but you can vocal comp as part of your workflow if you need to. There are things out there. And I kind of figure if Ableton aren't focusing on vocal comping, they're probably doing it for a reason. I don't feel like they'd just leave it out, would they? It doesn't bother me, so I don't really get it. So I, I didn't even, I'd forgotten vocal comping bloody existed. Do you know what I mean? Like when I do a sample, like a vocal into the mic, like it's changed so much by the time it's in the track that like, I don't need two takes of it. It barely sounds like the original take in the first place. But that's just <laughs> the way I produce. But um, that's because yeah. I like to put reverb on things to cover my failings. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, here is, and I'll put all these links in, including the article that tells you how to do it. And uh, I'm going to try this out later, and I'll post about it later. I'm actually going to go through with this now because we are professionals now. Boom. Um, I've decided we are professionals now. Just decided so I'll it. I'll go through so... with this, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let people know how easy it was to get some vocal comping takes. And I'm actually, this rolls into something else I was going to talk about, uh, which is I am currently completing a full children's audio book in Hungarian um, for, my, uh, for my better better half. Uh, so uh, I'm going to probably use some of the techniques and see if I can get some of the vocal comping going in that for takes. Nice. So if I try and do that, uh, I'll post about what I'm doing. Uh, it will be in Hungarian, so uh, if my girlfriend's just like breaking up with me on the mic, if anyone does like speak on Hungarian, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, do or don't, if you think it's if you think it'll be more funny, just don't. Just don't. <laughs> um, as far as I can tell, like she uh, she tolerates me beautifully. Um, For now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, she's about as well. She's lurking about. I love you. She uh, yeah. she's she's a happy she's a happy lamb. <coughs> um. So uh, what was I talking about? I'm so so so. Vocal comping. I've forgotten what I was talking about. Vocal comping. Vocal Sorry. Comping. The the love. The pure love. There's no second takes in my love for my my <laughs> missus. That's what I'm proposing for. That's a stonks guarantee. Stonks guarantee. I'm trying to think. I don't even need her to do anything for. I don't even need her to do anything for me. I'm just being nice out of altruism as well, which is very unlikely. Um, but now you know a little bit more about me. <laughs> so yeah, vocal comping. Download Band Lab. You can do your vocal comping in there, and then you don't have no problems. You get that best take every time. You just bounce it back into Ableton, sweetheart. But then it sounds like because you get most of the sonar premium functions uh, free with this, uh, that you could probably do a little bit of tricking to it in there anyway. So you've got that flexibility. Might just be uh, a way of thinking. I think people ask sometimes too much of one software and you just need to work out. It's like the way I do our social media stuff. So I have a paid subscription to one company and I use the functions of another company's free plan. Yeah. Um, and that brings me to a different sort of level with it and uh, yeah this is uh, it might just give you that extra bit of creativity as well so band lab cake walk vocal comping out of ableton stop asking ableton to do it they've probably got a bloody good reason they just extended your free trial um, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean like leave go hard alone uh you can do I'm groups in groups tired. that's all that matters is groups in groups now in 10 so we're fine yeah exactly that's all you need yeah why would you even need vocal comping when you have a bit crusher anyway? <laughs> uh, so yeah, this was just my first one. I've managed to actually, I've actually read into the things I'm going to talk about for once, which Boom. is really uncommon for me. So this might be hours long. Um, so this oh, one, selling. I uh, didn't read about. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, hit the wall. Um, <laughs> hit the wall running. 
Nah, so this is, I love delay modulators and this has got loads of crossover effects on it and it just looks like a really nice delay modulator effect. Uh, obviously, what I'm going to do actually, I did this with the phaser. So how would you describe a delay modulator effect? Me? You just well, modulate, no one, who, you modulate the delay, what do you mean a name? delay? I try, I try and do a bit. I try and do a bit. You do this on the phone as well. Like every time I say something important, you leave it too long before you, you just like Elon uh. fucking Muskin over there with your big <laughs> stoner stick. <laughs> right, I'll try that again. How the fuck would you, for the audience, you absolute waste of time, describe uh, a delay modulator? And how do they usually modulate the delay? Um, basically, the way that I understand it is, it's a form no. of it's a form of grain. <laughs> it's a form of grain delay. So it's basically taking a snippet of your signal and repeating it continuously, uh, or, or repeat, repeating it over an amount of time quickly or slowly. So I use simple delay a lot on like the milliseconds, mm. and then I put a reverb over that. So you're like catching. Um, it's quite fun if you actually put like four or five different simple delays you end up just creating a resonant frequency basically at the at the millisecond that you choose so if you want to get really boring and mm -hmm. scientific about it you can pick you. pick your frequency and then uh find out what millisecond that wave is and then tune your delay to the frequency that you want and you can start getting some nice like that's how you get all that robotic stuff that kind of <laughs> Yeah. Delay modulation. So this has got different waveforms that the you, more you, know. you can modulate the, uh, the delay bow. <laughs> so um, there you go. It's got, it produces flanger and chorus style effects using Imaginado's powerful processing technology. Um, so it's essentially a delay modulator which produces flanger and chorus style effects. And it's got different waves that you can, mod I guess you're modulating the signal through. Yeah. He's uh, better than me. There'll be some fun with <laughs> FM, I imagine. Um, but it is free. Specific so frequency download range. It. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I like to use a lot of this on yeah, like... Yeah, sure, he's nice as well. On the one, basically. On like a lot of my drops and things. Mm. The first hit... Sometimes the fourth hit. Usually the first hit will have some kind of... Cring. Sometimes the fifth. <laughs> it kind of just... It gives you some kind of um, thing that lasts the rest of the bar while everything else is going... Yeah. Blah, 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 and then you go... Bleh. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, great. Yeah, it's great for like just tails. To... Uh, it's also you can use it just to if you're using it slightly with the dry wet turned down a little bit, you can just use it to batten up a bass line a little bit. All it's those kinds yeah, of effects with... you can use on Reese's to sort of accentuate that detune wideness. Yeah, just um, split it. And... I pretend I know something sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yes, this is uh, this is for free, and uh, I'll probably have a play around this later. I have got four pages of plugins I thought that I need to install today as well, and write a business plan. And oh my god, it's just like honestly, like I, I, I work sixteen hours a day, and is there is there no paycheck at the end of this? What what's, what is this? Pay me, you you public. Oh, so um, you to me. I was anyway, like, oh, uh, shit, what can I give you? Fuck. No. Oh, fuck. Well, no, you, you owe me 50 quid. You fucking pay me as well. <laughs> Everybody pay me. <laughs> this is what the episode's called. Everybody fucking pay me. I quit my bitch-ass job. This is all I have anymore. The recession's coming. I'm going to have to sell my <laughs> shoes. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my feet real dirty. I'm going to come put them in your face. Oh, uh, blah, blah, um, blah. So this is the dynamic Imaginado uh, free release. So, uh, so yeah, this is it. Um, Valhalla have been uh, popping out some of their free stuff again. Uh, so this is the space modulator. Uh, so that's a phaser. And I thought it would be nice. Uh, so this is a bit... I want this to be a bit more of a teaching experience. And so sometimes I find myself, and I've got no problem admitting it, because I can, I can make nice tunes, so that's fine. I don't feel like I'm cheating too much, but I will use a plugin all the time, but I don't actually sonically know what it does. And Ollie's a lot less prone to this than me because he is a better musician than I am. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, so I thought I'd just give us a quick rundown of how does a uh, how does a phaser work? So a sound processor, and basically it creates peaks and troughs through the waveform. 
and then you modulate uh, those peaks and troughs over time. Does that sit well with you? Does that sparkle with your sunshine? Yeah. As to what a phaser would do? Sounds good. <laughs> he's just left. This is, I asked for support and he's just left. I'm here. So this is like the most, like, I really had to dig, I really had to dig deep to admit that I didn't know Sonic what a phaser did and I look round I literally look round and he's just gone it's fucking uh, it's abuse it is abuse my phone my right, phone anyway. my, my internet phone isn't charging <laughs> it's again gone. my internet phone isn't charging again bullshit. so I'm like I will end this oh, live stream in God. three seconds if you don't come back the live stream <laughs> might end anyway because my fucking internet's running out I don't know if the out. screen's frozen oh you haven't come back anyway so the effect uh, that it produces, because I've got a bit of a video. <laughs> Does that mean we've stopped the live stream? Not yet, but maybe soon. All right, fine. Um, so yeah, Valhalla have released, they released their super massive um, delay effect. Uh, what was that the other month? Or it might even still be on. Have a look around for the Valhalla super massive as well. I don't know if they're doing both of them free. But this is their phaser that appears to be from the same sort of series. And it's uh, it's nice. I was uh, looking, if you just listen to this a little bit, I think I've shared the computer sound with you crazy cats already. Yeah, so this should be... Never open anything on full volume while you're on a live stream. That's just good practice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, a little bit better. He just does a nice fade into it. Yeah, those nice groovy faces on the guitar. He's doing it on a on a track. I should mix a band one day, man. But it's just it doesn't ever come come to me. <laughs> um, but I don't yeah, enjoy so, it. Uh, their space modulator is a really nice phaser. Uh, it seems to be quite a gentle phaser to the uh, to the mix. Well, why don't you spend five minutes telling us what you don't enjoy about this then? <laughs> No, I was just saying I don't really enjoy... Uh... Are you even there? I'm here. I'm fucking half here. I was just saying I don't really enjoy recording bands anymore. I just like tapping my computer and making horrible noises. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just coming at me. Sorry. <laughs> no, I love, a good, a, I love a good phaser. I love a good phaser. I'm just not particularly fond of uh, musicians who don't know half their fucking parts and can't play in time. I'd rather just resample a bass line and be like, yeah, fucking have it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't like people. <laughs> you, 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 have, you have self self-defeating standards and you don't like people. <laughs> Not to tell you too much. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's everyone. Right. And only I, only I can. <laughs> uh, right. There you go. Um, there is, yeah, there you go. It's super massive. It's still free, I think. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's just adding a nice phasey. Um, you can use yeah, you can use phasers for loads of different things. It's quite a specific effect, so you'll know what you want to use it on. Uh, we Moving did. Moving on, we waves, did. As per usual, are doing some stuff. We did die for a bit, by the way, apparently, but we're back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we should really is if if I if I stream it, does that mean we're relying on my internet? Yeah, and then I'm just zooming to so you. So realistically, I should probably I should probably stream these from now on, shouldn't I? That's fine. That's fine. I'll just do that. That's fine. Right. Anyway, if we did die for a bit, hey guys, back. Welcome to Stonkscast episode thirteen. Uh, lucky we're going thirteen. Some free Woo! plugins. Uh, first, yeah, lucky thirteen. Um, so basically, we were looking through some free uh, plugins. I was looking through some free digital audio workstations. Uh, in relation to finding something that people could audio and vocal take comp in other than Ableton because they're always whinging about it in the uh, user groups. So I found that Cakewalk do BandLab, which is like sound, uh, it's a sonar platinum, but it's free. Um, so you can download that. You can do vocal comping in it. I'm going to link you this video that explains to you how to do vocal comping in, comping in it. Then we came over here. We spoke about a uh, delay. And then we are over here at the Valhalla uh, Space Modulator Phaser. So that's where we're at now. And I was about to start talking about waves. So that is a full recap Boom. of everything. I have a release on the 3rd of July. I don't <laughs> think it died that long. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, I got, I got, I got you back. Uh, so yeah, waves uh, of release. I've got this. I've been playing with this a lot. This is a lovely augmentation to other distortions. So if you've got a really tonal distortion, 
and you just want to fry it up right at the end. It ain't uh, no, it ain't no trash. It ain't no trash. It's not meant to be, though. I've worked that out now. But you can get totally different sounds out of it. Trash is essentially a multi-effects unit. It's not a, dis it's not ju it's not a true distortion unit. And um, because it's got loads of delays and filters and loads of stuff, but this is this, this is more is of a really wave good... shaper. It's more like a saturator on wave yeah, shaper yeah. mode. I think, yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems to be its kind of thing. It's got um, great features, and waves are giving it away free for all registered users. I don't think it costs anything to sign up, and then you just got to download. I think it's called Wave Central, and you can get this lovely distortion for free. Yes. Um, oh no, my tab's going to sleep. It's Hang on two seconds. I've got to wait for my tab to tell me it's gone to sleep before I can carry on. Why? Uh, right, this is going to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> They're all going. They're the all going to sleep now. Still. Why does it do that? What um, are you doing? You've got enough fucking this RAM. Is, it's, do you know what it is? It's the missus. <laughs> all right. She likes to do the IT things on the computer. And if I stop her, and she does really good things on it, and she makes it work better. So I've just, I'll just give her this one. Fine. Uh, plus, every time I open Ozone, I can't have mozilla firefox open <laughs> in any way tabs are like super cpu intensive yeah yeah you should know that yeah you i know, know that but we've got enough um, so anyway this is the next uh, little deal i found for you so waves are doing their 40 percent off thing as well um so that's coming up next but yeah so i found this i was going to buy this to ollie to cheer for ollie to cheer him up because it's been hard on everyone recently uh, so it's a high gain bass module that's two uh two dollars and uh it creates those sort of uh you know like gent the style of metal yes uh so it lets you do all these kind of so uh yeah that's basically it allows yes. you to I'll and i think oh, what i was thinking Fuck. as well is if it's i think it's <laughs> Uh, so you can get the LE version is two dollars. The pro version you can get is seventy dollars. Uh, I'm going to buy the LE for me and Ollie because I think it will be really good on neurosensors as well. I think that would be really really decent. I see what you're saying about putting um, some baseline so, yeah. in some tracks though, Lo. That'd be sick. Just like down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, I go. thought you catch with that. <laughs> uh, so adding a bit of gent metal to your like uh, glitchy right. trip hop or right, we'll glitch hop is always good. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ordified new spin. Uh, I like the green. It looks quite nice. .com. Yeah, you know, you were going on about black and green earlier, weren't you? Mm. So yes, uh, this looks really cool. I'm going to be taking a look at this, and I'm actually going to do some videos on the side where I actually look through my plugins as well, because I've got loads now, and I don't really want to focus on synths and stuff because I do a lot of uh, a shit on a resampling. I mean, I'll start with experiment, synth experimenting, isn't it? So experimenting yeah, yeah, experimenting. yeah, yeah. well this brings me on to another topic that um we're already at five past four but sod it we've probably lost half the live stream so i'll carry on talking. yeah we started late uh, this yeah. brings me on to another thing so i've been thinking a lot about plugins obviously because i always am and does it actually matter like other than like well no because like realistically if you know how to use a compressor you will get a good results out of like stock compressors yeah yeah is that a belief you hold so all the, like the way i come at plugins is i'm always just trying to get weird sounds out of them anyway so a lot of the way things are reviewed and stuff doesn't necessarily apply to me and i basically the question i had in my head is does it even matter if you're using good plugins or can you just i mean if you're it depends what you're doing are they really is there really one better than the other or i would say with our i know particular, they have different processing styles i'd say our particular processing chain would lead me to believe that with operator doing such a clean sub and all of our routing keeping everything else out of the way that no it doesn't matter because one of my sub bases is made one of my mm -hmm. mid bases is in the new track I'm working on is literally a bungee that I boyoyoyoyoyed so no it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. it literally no like it that. doesn't matter because as long as you've got this nice pure <laughs> sub bass all you're looking for are harmonic overtones yeah. so the worse a plugin is yeah, the more harmonics it's going to give you and i think sometimes like 
if, yeah. if everyone's using... I was hoping you'd jump on this. Yeah. If everyone's using Serum and Massive, the best way to make sure that no one knows who the fuck you are is to use Serum and Massive. Because you're just going to sound like everyone else. Like, mm. to a degree, you need to know what's going on. But it's all the experimenting Hence with the weird free shit. Route. Exactly. Like, you have to fuck around <laughs> to find out what's good. And trust me, we make a lot of shit music. Like it's a yeah, so mine's a free audio pack mixed with some like free orchestral samples. Yeah, and it's and it's just about my, that's my base. It's not like there's no like four hundred dollar like synth behind a lot of the stuff I do. I mean, I have this, I have the synths, and I'll use them. They're great tools. Again, back in the day, we used to just another tool that you can work around. Yeah, back in the day, we used to have the Korg Triton in the studio, and it was lush. We had all the sounds on it, and then we were like, oh, should we record them all out and stuff? And then I look back at that now and I'm like, fuck, man. I've got Operator, Serum, Massive, <laughs> Absinthe. It's like fucking Korg Triton's piece of shit. I mean, it's got its sound, but I can make that sound on like 10 other <laughs> different synths now. So we're spoiled for choice nowadays, but you know? The point is, is like you don't even need, you don't need Massive and Serum to make those sounds. You just, yeah, like your, your inbuilt synths mixed with Operator, enough effects, analog, even if you're yeah. using like just FL Studio and stuff. You want to spend money if if you want to spend money when you're starting out. You want to spend money on really decent synthesis tutorials rather than really decent synths. <clears throat> I think it's yeah. the best way around. Yeah, and that's get yourself not to good. Sound too basic much knowledge. Read the manual or anything, but with synth, yeah, it's just something I ran into because I I understood how to make sounds, but when when it came to I want to make this particular sound, I needed to go back and get a really decent foundation of what I was actually doing. Mm. And now that I have that, I feel a lot better first. Now that I have that, I use less expensive synths all the time. Yeah. Or like free ones, sort of stuff. Yeah, well, um, our, I'm our much sub more base. To just chuck a free synth in. Our sub base, that we, but we both use a modified version of the same sub base in every single track Score Unknown, Stonks, and Ashima. They're all modified yeah. versions of the same sub yeah. base. Which is purely. Uh, it's all op- sub base punchy, isn't it? Yeah, sub base <laughs> punchy. And it's. Uh, uh, operator with i believe a compressor a um auto yeah. filter and a saturator maybe it's just operator with a couple yeah, of built-in effects and even if you're not getting even you've got to remember though that operator and stuff are only available to people that get ableton suite so uh, yeah I'm okay well operator <coughs> it's still just a sine wave free... it's just the sine wave though we just yeah. use we use operator because it's simple um, it's a very complex synth, mm-hmm. but on its most basic setting, we just use one operator, which could be any synth which has a, has a uh, an oscillator mm-hmm. on it, um, with a sine wave that that we compress a little bit and yeah. and high cut. Essentially, yeah, and that's it. I can imagine a lot of people out there that are struggling with their sound design. It's because they're trying too hard. <laughs> do you know what i mean they're like if they can't get the sound sounding just right out of the synth they'll sort of just lose faith and stuff i used to do a lot of that i think the main problem you've got to remember you've got the sound to manipulate afterwards and you can just push it back to how you if you're if you if you know enough about audio anyway and your effects again foundation up building with the synth same with audio effects if you know how to do them you can just force your sound back to the way you want it it's yeah as powerful as that i think so the one the one yeah. thing that halted me for a long time was trying to make one sound. You hear one sound, so you try and mm. replicate it with one sound. And that's just not the way. It's just not the way. You can't do um, it. It's seven different sounds. Yeah, it's three, it's all three of which you can't hear. Three and, of which are sub audible. Oh, exactly. And it's the, the way that things morph. Like, a lot of the time, if you watch any of the walkthroughs of my tracks, the initial sound I start with is a preset, and I say every time, I don't fucking care because it's not going to sound like this by the time I'm done with it. Um, mm-hmm. It just doesn't. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. True. The amount of post processing you do, like you wouldn't be able to tell what preset you started with by the time you've taken it, reversed it, yeah. cut it up, manipulated, resampled it, put it I back in a synth. It's all. It's all about the neo context. <laughs> you just got to free free your minds. Just be like, don't worry if it doesn't sound like the way I want it now. I can later on. I will make it that way. You just got. To, the more I relax about the way I produce, the better my tunes are. The more I'm trying to like nail down and stuff. It sounds contradictory because I'm telling you to get a really good. If you if you burn, I'm trying to tell someone the best way I would do it because I did it loads of the wrong ways. Yeah. 
So, like, if I had my, like, music technology, like, son on my knee, like, hello, hello, boy, um, I wouldn't talk to him like that. No, but, hello, um, there, boy. <laughs> no, I might. No. You're connecting. I might be live. I might just be sitting here if I am. Hello, everyone. I don't know. You probably can't even see me. You might be able to hear me. I don't know if I'm back yet. I'm trying to wait, and you, wait. you're, Hello. you're, Hello. you're going to let me in. Apparently, that's what it says. Oh, what? oh sorry. Yeah, that's, that's all my bad. <laughs> let me in, boy! Just, just wait. I'm pressing the participants bit. It's just not. Uh... Oh, I've got a thing. I've got a thing. I've got a thing. We've got movement. Oh, we got things. Way! Hey. I'm going to hang up there. Let me put my headphones back on. Hello, welcome to Stocks Guys episode 13, part 2, Nothing Happened Sharp. Hey! Hey, hey, everybody! Pa hey! Nothing Stokes happened. Stocks episode, part 2, best thing ever, everything's fine, sharing my screen, nobody knows that everything went wrong. The field of tabs, field of dreams, <laughs> dreams, broken dreams, broken dreams. Uh, right, cool. I was talking to you guys about, yeah, we were talking about Berserk Distortion. It's a really good uh, stand. Uh, it's really good. Why have I disappeared? <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, yeah, Waves Berserk Distortion is free again. God, this is a disjointed one. Uh, I was talking about Sveen as well. Jesus. Uh, this is also $2. It makes bass sounds like gent. Uh, Waves are doing their promo uh, save 40 code, which somehow gets you 90% off some plugins. So Waves are always doing some uh, some good stuff. Uh, yeah, Waves are always fucking clogging my inbox. Found as well that is, uh... Yeah, I had to send up a, set up a filter for them yesterday. Um, so this is uh, always important get this say 40 thing and go buy yourself some waves plugins because they're lovely plugins this was interesting i just wanted to find out about this so this synth apparently is 45 dollars but if you download this door which door was it i think it's llms Hello. this is another one of the free doors yeah i had that one for a while you download this did you yeah oh nice uh, if you download LMMS, it comes with Zin Add Sub FX, which seems to be on their website for forty-five dollars and play pay what you like. So if you want to get this uh, this Zin Add Sub FX thing for free, you appear to be able to do it by getting LMMS Freeware Door. So that was my uh, that was my reason for uh, for going to that. So uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty decent synth for uh, it's a polyphonic synth. But look at the amount of functionality it has. I like all of this. Nice. <clears throat> um, I don't know. It's got drums loaded in here as well at the bottom. It's clearly doing something, something interesting down here. Uh, it's polyphonic, legato, mono, three synthesizers. So, oh right, cool. So it's got uh, an additive, a subtractive, and a pad. Is that a type of synthesis? Pad synthesis. It is now. Does that count? <clears throat> you can't just be like additives. You can't just be like, oh yeah, there's additive synthesis. Subtract the synthesis. Pad synthesis. I don't know. Is this a real thing? Sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. Hang on. Pad synthesis. It's just going to tell you how to synthesize a pad. Yeah. How to make yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, It's not even worth getting into. Uh, but yeah. So it has pad synthesis. Uh, but it looks like it's really quite an extensive fucking nice synth. So I want to have a look at this. Uh, and you can get this, it seems, for free by downloading LMMS. Uh, so let's have a little uh, listen to some sawtooth love. Uh, oh, sorry, this is loud. Anyway, that's a sawtooth wave. <laughs> Doesn't really show you what it can do much, does it? Should we try something else? Oh. I like, yeah, yeah, a bit of that. 
Oh, that's probably the synth, actually, isn't it? It could be both. Seems nice for... It's got a nice sound to it, actually. Yeah. Sounds like pretty decent. It sounds like if you don't have a... Uh, sounds like it might be good for making soundscape. It's like, uh, like absinthe and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sounds like that kind of... Uh... Kind of a fair, nice, a decent building block synth. Uh, I was just going to shout about this again because I can't believe that they are still doing this. But you can still get the Isotope forty nine dollars music maker bundle, which is worth about eight hundred quid or something, and it comes with uh, the Elements, Neutron, and Ozone, which we're also running a competition for on chat.stonks.co.uk. You can get them for free. Uh, neutron and Ozone That'll Elements. Be up That's in a couple chat of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a couple of days to get in. So you get in, get chatting away, ask us for some production help, chat to us, and then if you get to a high enough level, you get the prize. That's basically essentially it, isn't it? So uh, we're giving away the two, these two here because we've got licenses for them. But what comes with this is uh, Nectar. You get uh, loads of different stuff. Iris is a hugely powerful uh, synth. A bit of a CPU hog as well, actually. But a lot of, uh, a lot of isotope stuff is. Uh, this is the best, best plug-in deal I've ever seen still. And you get Trash 2, which is the best audio. Uh, oh, my Lord. It's just started absolutely teeming down here. Just I thought that was the kettle on. I thought it was coffee time. Um, so, yeah. Head over to Isotope. Get this get, get this bundle. Get Trash 2. You'll put it on everything. It's fantastic. Um, so I just want to shout about that again. As we go along, I thought this was nice. I've been getting into my lo-fi feel again. So this is uh, Sample Science have released a free plugin, which is... Uh, Electric piano recorded on cassette, which I think is really nice. And like, I, like it's silly because it's so so niche, but it's uh, yeah, I really like that for um, for for hip hop and stuff. That's gonna be fantastic. Just get you a bit of that wobble and stuff in there, right? It gives you a bit of that. Yeah, just a bit degradation. of degradation. Like, I mean, you've got yeah, 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 you want a bit of that for intros and stuff, man. You know, and I reckon. Um, I, I can think of loads of uses for this, for like arpeggios and stuff. Just it's, if you have a really clean, like well-produced track like yours, you could just hurt it a bit with it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like to hurt your really well-produced tracks. Um, so I'll play you a little bit of this uh, so we can have a listen. <laughs> I can imagine that using that quite a lot. I'll probably use that loads. Um, so it's I, quite I, nice, I, I just like this. Oh, it's, it's quite nice actually. Oh, nice. Um, is Ali G in the house? Oh no, I don't know if that movie is probably just not allowed to be shown now. To be oh, honest, um, and realistically. I think it's time has passed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's. So I'd leave that up to Sasha Baron Cohen to decide whether that like he's he's got the lay down on that. I don't know. Um, I still find myself singing a jewelry. You know she love me a truly. <laughs> a from me head down to me gully. A girl you turn me on with your big Babylon. Very, it's fucking too. Very funny when I was fourteen. Dude. It was very funny. We don't live. We don't live too far from Staines either, and you have to go to it every time you go to Thorpe Park. So ah, it's, it is quite so funny. funny. Uh, right. Anyway, so this is something I... I've been. Uh, I've downloaded it. <laughs> just, just ruined the rest of the uh, So these sound spots, I think it was Rich that originally uh, recommended these to me. So <clears> thanks, Rich. Um, and we'll get you on the podcast as soon as we can. We're doing so much, man. Um, oh, my brain. So yeah, sound spot. Uh, and I checked these out and Bedroom Producer Blog uh, re reviewed one of their mastering uh, plugins and said that it was actually a pretty useful tool. So they seem to be they seem to be pretty decent. It's not like one of those weird ones where they just whack off loads of money and you find out it was never worth it in the first place. Yeah. Um, so these are the sound spot uh, five for five bundles. There's a creative one I found, a vocal one I found and a mastering one I found. Now this would be a really nice alternative if you want to uh, sort of have your own mastering chain rather than doing stuff. I suppose I suppose Ozone sort of inbox mastering, isn't it? 
because everything's concealed within the one plugin. Yeah. Whereas if you wanted to start setting up and mucking around with your own mastering change, this is a really cheap way to do it. Uh, apparently, it saves you like 380 quid or 370 mm. quid on each one. Uh, but each one of these is now only five quid, and it's uh, yeah, I've got I've got these ready to download. Uh, also, I've got to tell you about this. Uh, at the moment, uh, if you buy on Plugin Boutique, you get a free EQ. So you get this new Entropy EQ, which apparently is 90 quid. So I got this as well. And uh, this is meant to be, it's got this, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, there you go. It allows for both harmonic and inharmonic sound portions to be adjusted over the entire, it's basically a slightly new way of EQing. And I think it would eliminate some of the issues that you get with, you know, sort of like really basic EQs. Okay. Um, so it must be 90 quid for a reason. It's called EQ Plus, Ollie. It's called EQ Plus. What do you think the plus is about? Plus. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you get this you get this free on Plugin Boutique at the moment. So check this out. Uh, it's, I think it's on the whole Plugin Boutique website. Um, you can just see it. So yeah, uh, I was looking through this. This was the review where Bedroom Producer Blog gave one of their plugins at least um, a pretty decent review. This guy's a really like the people that run this website, I don't know if it's one guy or not, but they 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 do sterling work, sterling work. Um, so yeah, they they seem to rate one of their plugins and say it was a pretty useful piece of kit. So that is uh, that is me giving you that uh, for uh, for free basically. Uh, so yeah, have a look and I'd get the entropy EQ with it as well. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Oh yeah, shout out to my man Emil Hugenhut. Uh, so this oh. is his website, and I really like the layout of his website and how it's all sorted out and shit. Uh, but it's got SoundCloud embedded links in it, so Ollie will obviously want to burn it to uh, the floor <laughs> straight away. Uh, but I like his website. I think it looks quite nice. It's not too far off ours. Um, we've got a similar sort of central idea. Uh, but yeah, I think this guy does good work, and he gives away nice free stuff for uh, for Ableton and stuff. And it's all uh, I think it's all African based as well. Cool. Um, Academy of Music Technology. Yeah. No. Thanks, Emil. Um, and I think that rounds it up for me. Um, I don't think I have anything more to show you. Uh, so we have some interesting ways to look around vocal comping and getting outside of Ableton rather than complaining inside of Ableton. We have some free uh, Waves plugins. We have a door that gets you a free plugin, I think, so you can just sort of like cheat and get the plugin. Uh, and yeah, that is my, my roundup of the week. I will put the links in the description and you guys can then click on them and download the plugins and use them in your music. Hurrah! <laughs> uh, um, we have so, yeah, a new a release coming out before the next Stonks cast, so yeah. um, keep your ears open. Uh, in case anyone wonders, my t-shirt says Jesus loves lesbians, by the way, which I think is a statement that even in this um, even in this trying time, no one can really disagree with on any level, unless you're just an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> probably. So, um, so yeah, yeah. I think it was it was like someone's someone's like Etsy festival T-shirt, and I was like, that is brilliant. I like that. That will annoy the right people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so uh, yeah. The, uh, so the roundup is new release uh, July the third. Uh, Thursday. Which is lockdown EP. Friday. And then, Friday. That's Friday. Yeah. So that is Friday. Maybe. Who yeah. knows? In this in this land of. So then I we'll know, probably be doing a live stream yeah, on Friday. Friday. We'll be doing a live stream on Friday, then we'll have a look through your project files. Yeah, we'll just, live stream uh... on Friday. I'll walk you through the tracks and how I made... Uh, the... I'll probably walk you through how I made the Blue the Soon, blue soon that's quite Roo. Fun. Yep. Uh, we are running our competition uh, until the end of this month, or probably like maybe a couple of days into it. Uh, we'll sort of sort that out because we're pretty loose people. Um, so yeah, I think, the competition uh, is yeah, running well, for yeah. the Ozone Elements and neutron uh neutron elements which uh, we will announce the winner soon get in the discord chat uh, chat.stonks.co.uk and uh, just start chatting away get some production help off us some people have been using it already and or give some help happy G give some help being able to yeah or give Don't, some help you know, man come head over we've got yeah, that both way we've got a feedback uh, channel so you can come and listen to everyone's music and kind of give some feedback and Drop yeah, tune, Discord's get some still feedback. growing, it's and nice. people. Uh, we, yeah, we made a new uh, a new pal in there from Scotland the other day. He seems like a really good guy, so it's it's growing, and we're getting nice uh, nice community spirit in there as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, come and get in the Discord. Uh, and look we've at got our website, a we got uh, a new room. We got a new room this week in the Discord, didn't we? Actually, for free VSTs and ADGs and everything. So if you've got, oh, I, yeah, I was yeah, dropping so all of my bass effects in there. Dropping. So 
Uh, I think you'll find most of these links yeah, will be in us, there from, from other people. The We're always scouring the internet to help people out. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any free VSTs, come into our Discord, drop them in the free VST section, spread the love, and... Um, yep. Yeah. Keep your ears peeled. We have uh, releases scheduled all the way to October. We're talking to other artists about maybe uh, coming and working with the project. So it is, it's growing. Music, it's music, fun. music. It's really exciting at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's the best thing in the world to do, and we want you guys to listen to us fail like hundreds of times trying to do it before we actually get there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what you're tuning in for. Is just basically for when the uh, when the live stream uh, goes wrong and we just put our entire brand at risk <laughs> just for no apparent reason. I like it. I think it could become a USP. It'll um, be fine. <laughs> oh mate, I don't. Know. It's easy. It's easy. So anyway, let's uh, let's uh, tie this up chat.stonks.co.uk for chatting and helping stonks.co.uk for listening and hubbing for everything and then merch.stonks.co.uk if you want lovely t-shirts designed by ollie he's very good at them and you want to get us on all the socials with various manifestations of the stonks music handle uh, you'll be able to search us up uh, they're all linked some love to each other slower on stuff yeah, come give our Twitter some love. Come give us come come give us some love. Come come give us some love. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we're we hugging. All, we're hugging now. Much. We're hugging now. If yeah. you want hugs, yeah, well, we're giving yeah. out hugs. Like this social distancing thing's done for. So, free hugs. You know, we're giving free, hugs free out. Hugs. We're, t- we're getting touchy feely. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Strongscast episode thirteen. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah, I'll catch all you guys later. I my my screen broke, so I've got to like really awkwardly navigate to OBS and then press stop stream. So this is fun. <laughs> nice one, everyone. We'll catch up with you later. Bye. Bye.